Hey guys, so today what we're going to be looking at in Multigo is something that came by popular request and also it was originally an idea I had because I personally get a lot of weird phone calls. I also know people who get a lot of weird phone calls. In fact, I would be willing to bet everyone gets weird phone calls. And so today what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be researching those phone numbers. So I'm going to show you today how you can take advantage of Multigo using completely free transforms. A lot of times we just want to know who is calling us and why are they continuing to call us. So if you haven't watched my beginning with Multigo video, I did that very recently. I had um, installed all the transforms that were free on that video. So you can go ahead and watch that first if you haven't, because you're going to need to install the transforms before we begin this. So once you've gone over that video, go ahead and open up Multigo. Now, if you, for example, can't get it to open, you may want to go here to the Multigo Java config. It should work right out of the box. But if you're running certain operating systems and you have, say, a headless Java setup, uh, you may need to uh, redirect to a different Java path. So if you have problems opening Multigo, that may be your issue. So now let's go ahead and just open up Multigo, make sure you have your transforms installed, and we're going to go ahead and start out with a graph. So by starting a graph, we have a new workspace. And we can take advantage of it and look up phone right here in the search and that'll bring phone number right at the top. Click down on phone number and drag and drop it right into the middle. It has an example phone number here for you and we're going to add our odd phone number. So the phone number I'm using today is actually one that was given to me by a follower who was interested in finding out what this number was. And so I'm happy to do this example video for everyone and I hope this is informative for you. So let's go ahead and type in our phone number. So in this particular case, this example phone number, say if you're in the USA, North America, you may do plus one in the front. So you're gonna wanna ensure you type everything the way it needs to be typed. So you can see the country code right here. And for the US, if you live in the USA, country code will be plus one. Your country code may be different. So if a phone number calls you from a different country, you're gonna need to add the country code for that. So I use plus one since it's a USA based number. Next, I'm gonna type in the next part of the number, which is the area code. And when I do that, I will put a space and then I'll do 526 and then 3744 and that's our phone number. So when I do that, it's already filled it out. You can see the properties right here have been filled in for you. So we have the country code in the front and keep it in the following format as it's shown in the example and make sure everything lines up. So make sure all of this looks correct. So the last four digits should be here. Now, if anything looks off, you might have your spacing wrong. So go ahead and do that first. And then the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take advantage of something called IP quality score. Now this transform is really helpful and if you Google a phone number this is going to actually provide more information than you might find on a standard Google search. What we can do is make sure you have the phone number selected then you can go down here where it says all transforms and then we can scroll down and look for the IP quality score. So right here you can see it right here and then we can go ahead and hit the run button right there and it should look everything up for us and look at that we have quite a few things on this number already as easy as that we've already found out that it is a risky phone number it's been tagged for recent abuse it's also a voice over IP number it is valid it is also active and when we go down further we can see that it is in Fargo voice over IP we can also use other transforms to get more information on it so you may want to try some of your other transforms here. And once in a while, Multigo will be a bit buggy, so some of the transforms may not actually show up when you right click, but you should be able to find them right here under all transforms. Next, we'll try this one.
And as you can see, quite a bit has come up when we went through that. And if you double click on some of these, you can find more information. Now, remember, not everything is going to be directly associated with your searches. So, uh, for example, if you don't use quotes when you're looking up a name, you may find more of just the last or first name documents. And uh, using quotes is one way to isolate your search query. So you may want to use quotation marks when you're looking up names and persons. And we could continue to go through this and just see what other kinds of things that we can find just to take a look at the available information on the free transforms. And when we use the two finger scroll out, it actually helps to shrink everything so we have a better view of the entire screen. And if you can't read what transform is about, you can go ahead and drag right over here, hover over this, and then you can move it over so you can kind of find out, you know, a little more detail on what you're looking at. can even go through court records and try that out and as you can see it has access to the following court archives now all of this information is completely public so everything we're doing is 100 percent legal here everything in multigo it's all 100 percent legal this is open source intelligence using publicly available information to do research and intelligence gathering as you can see, we've pulled up quite a bit of information in short time. And from here, you can also double click on this. You can find the actual original source for that information. You can click on that, open it in a browser if you like. You can take a choice between Tor browser, which is very common. But you can also go ahead and take a look at I2P browser setup, where you can actually take a look at things. you can actually use the I2P out proxy in order to view these actual links that are in Multigo, the direct original sources, and you can simply paste them and take advantage of the anonymity provided by the I2P out proxy. And if you do benefit from the I2P out proxy, um, you can actually donate over to the default out proxy provider, which is Stormy Cloud. So if you go to Stormy cloud.org slash donate I like to bring up their donate page every time I take advantage of them in a video uh, just because these are people that are taking on the risk for us they're the ones making the direct connection in order to enhance our anonymity and allow us to do open source intelligence investigations without us making direct connections from our own IP address and so it's quite nice that they do this as a free service and they run various I2P nodes so if you you want to support the out proxy and see it stick around you could always donate if you're able to that's something I like to mention just since we're taking advantage of it um, but yeah I hope this was useful to you it's really great to be able to have this kind of information and there's a lot of interesting things that are attached to this phone number now is it directly linked to this phone number I haven't gone in and inspected everything and sometimes these things are not directly connected and so you need to do your own due diligence you need to go and take a little look and scour the results but one thing we can say for sure is that the IP quality score transform is very useful for finding out information on phone numbers and you can also get the names behind the phone numbers using some of the transforms with Multigo and I'll allow you to go ahead and explore those on your own but as you can see I was able to pull up a whole lot of information without weeding through search results on one of these search engines which more so function more as an advertising result than a search engine used to so guys make sure to share the video like it and subscribe and i'll be back later with more on open source intelligence how to protect your security and privacy